I want to bring up now a speaker that you all do not want to miss. Someone who we are very, very privileged has been able to come out on this incredibly hot day. And by the way, as you're standing out there in the sun, imagine you're in a cage. Imagine what that is like. I want to bring up somebody who has been working and fighting and struggling and writing and speaking for peace and justice for just about as long as Dick Cheney has been doing the opposite. Founder of the Institute for Policy Studies here in Washington, D.C., Marcus Raskin. Please welcome Marcus Raskin to the stage. First of all, I salute all of you, and you should salute your neighbors right now. Salute your neighbors for what they do. Secondly, I'm going to talk about something which the president says that he's already agreed to, which is that he is against torture. So, if that's the case, he should be held to account, and there should be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He now must come forward and indeed hold responsible the CIA as well. Now, why is that, that he should do that? because there is no way that a particular part of the government should be... No part of the government should find that it is exempt or excluded from being responsible to what it does. Now, what is it that's going on in fact? Well, in fact, the United States has a war in Iraq. It has a war in Afghanistan. It has a, a, a war that's going on in the Philippines. It has a war that's going on in the Polisario. How many wars do we need at one time? How many wars must we have? Second, when do we stop deceiving ourselves from who we are? We must now speak to the fact that we can no longer fool ourselves in this process. The rest of the world knows what the United States is doing. It's only the American people that find themselves deceived about what is going on, or that they avert their eyes. But for the United States to indeed fix what's going on for itself, to deal with the fact that we become really a warrior state, having wars every few years. The only way we can deal with that is to look at what we do. And we can't do that if we deceive ourselves, if we undertake to say, this doesn't matter, we turn our eyes elsewhere. So join me in this effort. Join yourselves in this effort of saying, no more self-deception, no more lies, no more of this kind of activity, which means that the United States is always at permanent war. It must stop itself from the permanent war idea and ideal of who the American people are. That is crucial at this stage for our society and for getting to the question of, indeed, disarmament and peace. So join me in this effort, please. I appreciate your attention and thank you very much.